It's not one of his. You you all heard in the pines covered by him, covered by never played by him a folk song, and Nirvana famously wanted to buy Lead Belly's guitar. He's a twelve string player, born in the, I think in the eighteen ninety something. Um, Hoodie Lead Belly or Lead Belly was a rock star of the generation. Trust me. Hello all, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a notification, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what you do like, and for now, so let's get on with it. Music for me, and, and for all the 463 wonderful people that have joined me on this journey, music for me is a journey, and it should be about taking you off into tangents and finding new genres and seeing where your music came from and who influenced them. And I'm going to react to a track that an artist that maybe some of you know, maybe some of you don't, but you've heard his influences in just about all forms of rock and blues music that you've, you've ever heard. Um, great artists, Clapton, Nirvana, Hendrix, even Jack White, they'll all talk about this gentleman. And this is Hoodie William Ledbetter, otherwise more famously known as Leadbelly. And the track is Mr. Hitler. It's not one of his, you, you all heard in the Pines, covered by him, covered by Never, played by him a folk song, and Nirvana famously wanted to buy Lead Belly's guitar. He's a 12 string player, born in the, I think in the 1890 something. Um, Hoodie Leadbetter or Lead Belly was a rock star of the generation, trust me. Look at his life. This is a man who went to prison, lived through the impression, oppression of Jim Crow, but still found time to write, to play and write this song. So without much further ado, let's get into it. It's Lead Belly, Mr. Hitler, 1942. I'm so looking forward to reacting, to just listening to it. And I hope you do too. That again, I didn't understand it at that time. Take it easy. Yes, yes, Mr. Hitler. Hitler started out in 1932. Hitler started out in 1932. When he started out, he took the home from the Jew. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down someday. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground someday. When Hitler started out, he took the Jews from their home. Hitler started out, took the Jews from their home. That's one thing, Mr. Hitler. You know you done wrong. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down someday. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground someday. You ain't no one. You ain't no solid rock. You ain't no iron. You ain't no solid rock. No, you ain't. What we making people say, Mr. Hitler, you is got to stop. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down. 
We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground someday. And dear Lord, we're gonna tear your playhouse down. Is it love? Oh, we gonna tear your playhouse down. You been blind, mighty high, but you on your last go round. We gonna tear Hitler down. We gonna tear Hitler down. We gonna tear Hitler down someday. We gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground someday. Is it love? You know you ain't so keen. Is it love? You ain't so keen. But we making people say you're the biggest liar they ever seen. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down. We're gonna tear Hitler down someday. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We're gonna bring him to the ground someday. How can you not be moved by that? 1942, here's a man who was born in the 1800s who knew the dark and deepest hatred of Jim Crow but focused on another race to produce this beautiful music. He plays a 12 string, his voice, the vibrato, it's just amazing. There won't be an artist out there that you know of that is worth their salt from the Rolling Stones to Bob Dylan to Clapton to the Beatles, Keith Richards on his own. You know, they all know the power and influence of, of Hoodie William Ledbetter, Lead Belly. I love this. It's the first time I've heard it. And it's a powerful song, folk song, bluesy, the 12 string, the, the, the progressions, you can hear them. When he's, when he's doing the blues progression into the folky rhythm. It's beautiful. That's just my opinion. I'm probably stupid. But I loved it, and I hope everyone else did. Uh, and I'm proud I, 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 that I got to listen to this song. I know Led Belly. I know his other songs, but I've never heard this one. I hope everyone enjoyed it and will keep joining me on this journey of genres that evolve into other elements of music that we get today that comes from then and what will our music do today, 50 years' time? Which bands today will stand the test of time 50 years from now? Let's find out together. Take care, guys. <laughs>